Madurai Shanmukavadivu Subyalakshmi the 16th of September 1916 to the 11th of December 2004 was an Indian Carnatic singer from Madurai Tamil Nadu She was the first musician ever to be awarded the Bharat Ratna India's highest civilian honor she is the first Indian musician to receive the Ramon Magsaysay Award, often considered Asia's Nobel Prize, in 1974 with the citation reading Exacting purists acknowledge Sramati M. S. Subyalakshmi as the leading exponent of classical and semi-classical songs in the Carnatic tradition of South India. Biography <inaudible> 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 Early years Subyalakshmi Kunjama to her family was born on 16 September 1916 in Madurai, Madras Presidency, India to Veena player Shanmukavadivar Amal and Subramania Iyer. Her grandmother Akamal was a violinist. She started learning Carnatic music at an early age and trained in Carnatic music under the tutelage of Semangudi Srinivasa Iyer and subsequently in Hindustani music under Pandit Narayan Rao Vyas. Her mother, from the Devadasi community, was a music exponent and a regular stage performer, and Subyalakshmi grew up in an environment very conducive to musical learning. Her musical interests were also shaped by regular interactions with Karakudi Sambasiva Iyer, Majavarayanendal Subarama Bhagavathar, and Arayakudi Ramanuja Iyengar. Subyalakshmi gave her first public performance, at the age of 11, in the year 1927, in the 100 Pillar Hall inside the Rockfort Temple, Tirakairapali, with Mysore Chaudhaya on the violin and Dakshinamurthy Pillai on the Murdangam. This was organized by the Tirakairapali based Indian National Congress leader F. G. Natesa Iyer. Move to Madras In 1936 Subyalakshmi moved to Madras now Chennai. She also made her film debut in Sevasadan in 1938. Her debut to the world of cinema was again opposite F. G. Natesa Iyer. <laughs> Musical style and performance Topic. Singing career M. S. Subyalakshmi began her Carnatic classical music training under her mother Shunmagavadivu, and later in Hindustani classical training under Pandit Narayan Rao Vyas. Subyalakshmi first recording was released when she was 10 years old. Subyalakshmi gave her first performance at the prestigious Madras Music Academy in 1929, when she was 13 years old. The performance consisted of singing bhajans Hindu hymns. The academy was known for its discriminating selection process, and they broke tradition by inviting a young girl as a key performer. Her performance was described as spellbinding and earned her many admirers and the moniker of musical genius from critics. Soon after her debut performances, Subyalakshmi became one of the leading Carnatic vocalists. By the age of 17, Subyalakshmi was giving concerts on her own, including major performances at the Madras Music Academy. She travelled to London, New York, Canada, the Far East, and other places as India's cultural ambassador. Her concerts at Edinburgh International Festival of Music and Drama in 1963. Carnegie Hall, New York, the UN General Assembly on UN Day in 1966 Royal Albert Hall, London in 1982 Festival of India in Moscow in 1987 were significant landmarks in her career. In 1969 she was accompanied by Indian Railways advisor S. N. Venkata Rao to Rameshwaram, where she sang several songs in front of each idol in the Rameshwaram temple. She shared a very cordial relation with Sri Ramazeva Mandali Bengaluru for whom she performed 36 concerts. After the death of her husband Kalki Sadasivam in 1997, she stopped all her public performances. Films M. S. also acted in a few Tamil films in her youth. Her first movie, Sevasadhanam, was released on 2 May 1938. F. G. Natesa Iyer was the lead actor, opposite Subyalakshmi, in this film, directed by K. Subramanyam. It was a critical and commercial success. 
Ananda Vikatan favorably reviewed the film on 8 May 1938. Sevasadhanam is one of the early Tamil films to be set in a contemporary social setting and to advocate reformist social policies. The film is an adapted version of Premchand's novel Bazaar Ehusn. The veteran Marxist leader N. Sankaraya, has described Sevasadhanam as an unusual film for choosing the subject of marriages between young girls and old men which had social sanction. According to him, the film successfully brought out the sufferings of the girl acted by M.S. and the mental agony of the aged husband acted by F.G. Natessa Iyer. Tamil film critic and historian Aranthai Narayanan observes in his book Thami's Cinemavan Kathai the story of Tamil cinema that Siva Sadhanam proved a turning point in the history of Tamil cinema. In the climax, the aged husband, now a totally changed man, was shown as casting aside with utter contempt his sacred thread, which symbolizes his Brahmin superiority. It came as a stunning blow to the then Brahmin orthodoxy. M. S. Subyalakshmi also played the male role of Narada in Savitri. 1941 to raise money for launching Kalki, her husband's nationalist Tamil weekly. Her title role of the Rajasthani saint poetess Mira in the eponymous 1945 film gave her national prominence. This movie was remade in Hindi in 1947. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Awards and Honors. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru had this to say about M.S. Subyalakshmi. Who am I, a mere prime minister before a queen, a queen of music? While Lata Mangeshkar called her to Paswini the renunciate, Ostad Bade Ghulam Ali Khan termed her Suswaralakshmi the goddess of the perfect note, and Kishori Amunkar labeled her the ultimate eighth note or Athuvan Sir, which is above the seven notes basic to all music. The great national leader and poet Sarojini Naidu called her. Nightingale of India. Her many famous renditions of bhajans include the chanting of Baha Govindam, Vishnu Sahasranama, 1000 names of Vishnu, Hari Tumaharo and the Venkateswara Suprabhatam, musical hymns to awaken Lord Balaji early in the morning. She was widely honored, praised and awarded. Some of the popular ones include Padma Bhushan in 1954, Sangeet Natak Akademi Award in 1956. Sangeetha Kalanidhi in 1968 Ramon Magsaysay Award often considered Asia's Nobel Prize in 1974 Padma Vibhushan in 1975 Sangeetha Kalasahamani in 1975 by the Indian Fine Arts Society, Chennai Kalidas Salmon in 1988 Indira Gandhi Award for National Integration in 1990 Bharat Ratna in 1998 she was honored as a resident artist Asthana Vidwan of Tiryamala Tirupati Devasthanams. Tirupati Urban Development Authority Tuta has installed a bronze statue of M.S. Subyalakshmi at the Purnakumbam Circle in the Temple Town. It was unveiled by Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Y.S. Rajasakara Reddy on 28 May 2006. The Kanchipuram Sari shade known as M.S. Blue was named after her by the well known Congress Party member and philanthropist, Sri Mutu Chediar, when they met at the residence of Sri R. Ayyadurai and S.M.T. Thongam Ayyadurai at Lady Desikachari Road, Madras, who were close friends of M.S. and Sadasavam. A commemorative postage stamp on her was issued on 18 December 2005. United Nations decided to issue stamp to mark birth centenary M.S. Subyalakshmi She was bestowed with enormous prize monies with these awards, most of which she donated to charity. She has given more than 200 charity concerts and raised well over 10 million rupees. She was awarded honorary degrees from several universities. She was an ardent devotee of Kanshi Mahaswamigal and she rendered his composition Maithrim Bhajatha o World. Cultivate Peace in her concert at the UN in 1966. She made a 20-minute recording of Venkatesa Suprabhatam for HMV, the royalty from which goes to the Veda Padasala run by the Tirupati Tiryamala Devasthanam. She donated many of the royalties on several best-sold records to many charity organizations. <laughs> 